Now let's explore the last option, which is layout. Go and click on it. Here you have the whole hierarchy of the blog. So where is something placed on your blog? So if you want to adjust or change whatever you want to specific option, you will have to click on edit. So let's adjust the navigation bar. Go and click on edit. And the options will pop out. They are different based on specific button. Now just set up the settings and always confirm it with clicking on save. And you have changed the settings simply and quickly. Now let's go and adjust the header. So where we have the title of our blog. Click on edit. And here we can simply change the title of our blog. And we can write the description which will be shown under the title. The most useful option is to upload our own image for the title of the blog. So you can create your own image with the title and upload it. At the bottom, you can choose if you want that the uploaded image is behind the title or instead of it. In that case, your title won't be seen. Choose the option and click on save. Then just click on preview button to see the preview of our blog. We can see that the image is too big. So let's go back and adjust that. In my case the option to shrink the image is not available. So I will just delete the image. Now we can see the option where is written shrink to fit. Go and click on that and upload your image again. Save all the changes and let's preview the blog. We can see that now is much better. Let's quickly remove the options we adjusted before and continue with exploring. We can see that a few times in our layout is written at a gadget. Gadgets are just a useful options you can add on your blog. You can add the option to translate your blog in any other language or simply to connect to the Facebook. So let's add one. First click on add a gadget. Choose the one you want and simply click on plus sign next to your chosen gadget. Watch the demonstration. So when you choose your gadget, simply click on plus sign and name it. Choose a style. You can see a quick preview. Then just click on save. Let's see the preview of our changes. So we can see our gadget in our blog exactly on the place where we add it in our layout page. Let's continue exploring. If you want to remove the gadget, just click on edit. And simply remove. Now let's go and adjust our blog post settings. Go and click on edit. Where is written blog posts? Here we can adjust plenty of things. For instance how many posts we want to be shown on the main page. Then we can choose the type of date and hour and so on. Watch the demonstration. You can see a quick preview of it at the bottom. If you want to change the order of it, just grab it with a mouse button and put the specific thing wherever you want.
When you finish with editing, just go and save it. Now let's go and add one gadget. Now choose which one you want to add and simply click on plus button. Then the options will open and you can simply adjust them. They are easy to understand and manipulate. At the end, always save the work and then you can view the changes with clicking on preview. By the way, if you want to change the place of gadgets on your blog, just grab them and move them wherever you want. Now let's adjust the blog archive. You can simply adjust the style of display. Watch the preview at the bottom to see the changes. Then you can select the date format and so on. Try different settings and choose the one which works the most for you. At the end save it. You can also adjust the informations about yourself which will be visible on the main page of your blog. You have also the option to add a your own gadget. Let's quickly add the Facebook gadget just to give you the feeling how it looks like. And at the bottom, you can add your own copyright note, or whatever you want. Let's preview it. At the end just click on save arrangement and you are done. That is all about setting up your blog. I will show you how to make a post in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Goodbye.